go. Of course, we clip the building because this is what we do. Who's he shooting at? Go, Bishma. Go, Bishma. Go, Bishma. What are you? What are you doing? Thank you very much, Bishma. Let's get started. T90M is an improved version of the T90 tank. Believe it or not, because it, it has the letter M behind it, right? <laughs> so I suppose that it's um, upgraded, right? Sometimes this tank is referred to as ProRiv 3 or Breakthrough 3. It was first publicly revealed in 2017, and it's currently the most modern tank operated by the Russian army. Um, the T-90M tank has improved armor protection. It uses Relict ERA armor uh, in places where there used to be Contact 5 before, which provides him, or it, the tank, <laughs> with protection against tandem warheads and significantly reduces penetration of the APFS DS rounds. It's also fitted with rubber side skirts, as we can see here, which in War Thunder is an optional upgrade in rank 4. Um, with rubber side skirts that has built-in armor plates. So basically it offers uh, a bit more side protection. Some areas of the tank are covered with cage armor, as we can see here. Yes, yes, yes. And a special net that improves protection against certain types of anti-tank weapons and then on the interior it is lined with spall liners as we can see here at the top of the turret side of the turret and then side of the hull as well not at the back and none at the front okay the t90m is armed with 2a46m-4 gun which has a longer range and is 15 to 20 percent more accurate than the standard gun of the t90 um now i don't know if this is actually reflected in the game but this is what it says for the characteristics of the tank um it is a 125 millimeter gun and it fires apfsds rounds edfs rounds he rounds as well as anti-tank guided missiles tandem missiles um it also features an auto reloader uh, right here <laughs> with 22 rounds it also has a 7.62 coax machine gun as well as a 50 cal on top of the turret and as we can see it has three crew members which are quite packed inside sort of like russian sardines you know <laughs> you've heard of them <laughs> yeah so when it comes to survivability and the armor, you may look at the armor values and think, mm -hmm, wait a minute, this doesn't seem that much, but it does have ERA. It does have composite armor, which is very effective. It features the composite armor on the turret itself. So the survivability of this tank can be quite, quite surprising. A lot of the times, basically. Um, a lot of people will refer to this as Russian bias. But I like to think that this is just how the tank is. In in a lot of situations, the tank is going to be or is very survivable. But then again, sometimes you will get shot. <laughs> and it will be an insta-death, you know. But that's just the way it is with War Thunder. Um, the tank is quite weak when it comes to the breach. So if you face this tank um, head on, try to shoot the breach first. Because then basically you have a lot of time to work around the tank. The sides are surprisingly um, good when it comes to survivability. Mobility of the tank. It has in the game 1130 horsepower engine. It weighs 51 tons. So it is surprisingly mobile. The top speed is limited at 60 kilometers per hour. It will take some time to reach uh, the 60 kilometers per hour speed but you will you will you will cruise most of the times at around 40 to 50 kilometers per hour with ease so it is quite quite a mobile tank now one downside to russian tanks is the reverse speed right 4.2 kilometers per hour which 
I think you're better off just holding W <laughs> and, and escaping that way from the enemies. Yeah, reverse speed, non-existent. It, it just is what it is. Pros. 3BM42 APF SDS round is available stock. Now, this came with one of the recent updates to the game. Before, you, you would only have the heat fs now when the tank is stuck you get you get to choose between the heat fs as well as the apf sds um heat fs is very situational i would i would recommend just sticking with the apf sds even though it has 100 millimeters less penetration um it, it's just more reliable the best round on the tank however is 3bm 60 with 580 millimeters of penetration uh, which is quite a good round um, it also has a tandem rocket, barrel launched, as we've mentioned. It has very good thermals. I think there are Gen 3 thermals. It doesn't actually say this, but the quality is very good. Um, it has excellent gun handling. It also features very strong frontal armor that performs well against kinetic as well as chemical pro projectiles. It also features a spall liner, as we said. Maybe this is the reason why this sank. Um, feels more survivable than the previous tanks. It has a laser warning system, which is also a researchable upgrade at rank two. <clears throat> it has TRA, uh, it has tier four additional ERA armor upgrade, as we said, which is the, the sides. Um, ammo of the hull is jacketed. Ammo in the hull is jacketed and stored horizontal, which apparently um, reduces the risk of detonation. It has an auto loader, so if you're missing one crew member, the reloading rate is still at 7.1 seconds. Now, this is not the best uh, reload rate in the game. I think only the Chinese have it worse, uh, but still, if you're missing a crew member, the reload rate is the same. It also has very good mobility for, I mean, at least forwards, right? Now, on to the cons. It does say that it has poor gun depression at 6 degrees, but I would say that this is very good for Russian tanks because usually you have 5 or less. So 6 degrees is um, is workable. Slow reverse speed at 4.2 kilometers per hour. Um, it doesn't have an active protection system. As we mentioned, the breach is quite weak. The crew is relatively cramped or more or less cramped. Like I said, Russian tunas. Um, it has slower reload compared to other main battle tanks at top tier, except China, I was correct, and it only has three crew members. So, yeah. That's that. I think um, we should just go into the games. Um, so we're gonna try and set up on our usual spot on this map, looking down this alley, hoping that we get some people crossing to the sea. To the we're gonna see if we get some take- we get some takers. Usually people like to cross here, but maybe not in top tier so much because they learn. Or they don't learn. We're gonna die here now. Okay, that was very unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. I can't believe I managed to only hit the, the engine of the Leopard. You feel like we have a pattern? Right? The first game is always shitty. Yeah, I feel like as well. Then you kick ass. Well, fingers crossed we get a nuke on the last game, right? Uh, oh, we're gonna we're gonna get killed here. That was very stupid, uh, but but guys, okay. The first game, the first game is just a warm up. Okay, okay. What is happening with this this tree? The tree is having a party. Okay. Uh, I hear people here already, and we are alone. Okay. So this guy's mo was to push was to push forward and spawn cam. I would assume because he pushed forward then the actual cap. D 
teammates. Maybe. Control the engagement a bit now. It's another Abrams. Oh, there is actually two Abramses. No. 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 Oh, thank you very much, teammates. I can't believe. Thank you very much, Abrams. Okay, nice one. That was a mistake on his part. Okay, we're gonna push in. We're gonna trust our teammate has the back and we're gonna push in. Nice one. We're just cleaning them up right now. This is what we need to do. We need to watch our flanks as well. Okay, I said that and there is one more. Oh, what? Okay, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what is this? What is this position? <laughs> what the fuck is this? We're gonna try and survive this, okay? Okay, put some more smoke. We are gonna go back to the cap and get our last crew member back. Uh, we just need to pick up our crew member and then we're gonna be on our way back. Um, I think the guy there might have died. Um, oh shit, why did I fire there? I don't know. Um, watch out left. I mean, the game is practically over. Three people left alive. We did. It, the show, the score doesn't show it, but we did quite well. We managed to not die so far. We managed to pick up five kills. Which, I'm gonna say it's not great. It's not that great, but it's not terrible as well. So I think that's a decent result. And it just goes to show you that the sand can be can be quite survivable. Two, one, ignition, go. Also, I forgot to uh, I forgot to change the camo, but that's okay. Oh. Uh, of course, we clip the building because this is what we do. We clip the freaking buildings. They in and they out. We're pushing okay 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 we got some we got some very brave chali twos here there's a guy there never mind he's not there anymore maybe there is one more yeah thank you very much team this is gonna be very, very risky. Okay. The Chali didn't didn't take any damage. Okay, I got his breach. That was a that was a cool snapshot. Not gonna lie, I'm quite impressed on on myself on this one. I needed that that snapshot on the on the quarry map to be honest. We're just gonna follow the OES and. Keep fingers crossed that he doesn't die. Who's he shooting at? Ah, uh, of course, we bounce on the Puma. Yes, sir. Okay, so the Chali got slapped. But it's two way five. Oh, what is this guy doing? Another zone captured, we have the advantage. Wait, what? Oh. That 
one guy is there. Can we get so back that we can actually see the guy? Oh, never mind. He died. Perfect. I like to see that. Okay. That's a... Uh... I shouldn't push. Shouldn't push that far. Okay, we got one more spawn. Okay, that's not that bad. Three assists, one kill, top of the team. I'll take that any day in, in top tier, to be honest. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get an assist for that guy. Focus our attention to the C cap as well as B cap. We need to make sure that we don't get shot from that side again. That was a guy, I didn't see that guy. Okay, we saw the Leclerc there. More people on the B cap. What is this? Party? Oh, what? Okay. Nice one. Let's get the B-cap. Okay, we did a... We did a very good job supporting our teammates. He is dead. Yes, sir. Okay, but now we don't have anybody on the A cap. What is happening? Huh, guys? What is happening here, if I may ask? How is it that our team melted? Uh, okay, we're gonna... We're gonna put smoke, we're gonna reverse. We're gonna reverse with our 4 kph, 4 kilometers per hour. We need to reverse back into the cap. Um, grab the crew member, repair as well, because we're missing the, um, the horizontal thingy. Okay, the Leclerc died, perfect. They have a lot of team, they have a lot of players left alive. This is not good. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the A cap. I'd rather. I'd rather solo hold the A cap than the B cap. Uh, but then again, since our team is getting the C cap, it doesn't. It isn't that necessary. Oh, it's another Leclerc. Oh, he's there. I kind of wish I didn't drop the RD. I don't know how we managed to survive that. Get him, BMP. Get him. Oh no, the Leclerc died. The, the Leclerc killed the BMP. We can let him kill the Bishma as well, as long as we... Nice one. Yes, sir. Nice one, Bishma. They have two, three, five people left alive. I hear somebody. 
Don't go. You go there, I go here. Okay. Oh, it's a Leo. Go, Bishma. Go, Bishma. Go, Bishma. What are you... What are you doing? Thank you very much, Bishma. That was very good. Um... Ah, that's never gonna hit. Okay, we actually hit them. We actually hit them. Oh, that was close as well. I mean, it kind of looked close. Okay, helicopter plane. Which means two people are on the ground. On the sea cap. Yeah, this one's over. I like to think that we did very well. Four kills, six assists, three caps. 2,100 spawn points. So we were, we were close to a nuke. Um, but yeah, I think that's a very good tank to, to end on. Overall, very good tank, very fun tank to play. As you guys have seen, um, also very survivable and you do have very good games in it. Um, provided you play smart. Obviously, if you're just going to W key into the game, yes, you may have a good game, but most of the times you're just going to get slapped. So for next week, we're going to be doing our newly acquired VT12. I've been looking I've been looking forward to acquire this tank. I think I've been saving up for about 2 or 3 years to get this one and I finally managed to uh, snag one. So yeah. This one next week. Bye. Oh. Of course, we clip the building. Because this is what we do. Who's he shooting at? Go Bishma. Go Bishma. Go Bishma. What are you... What are you doing? Thank you very much, Bishma.